How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing well and last night I think I made a terrible mistake. So you know how you're probably not supposed to get seawater on your really expensive computer that you use for work? Well, uh, I did just that. I was using saline solution to clean something and I dropped a little bit on my MacBook Pro keyboard. So right now it is hanging upside down and I've got to wait 48 hours to see if I've completely ruined it. How's your week going? That's how mine's going. And to make matters worse, this is currently what my iPad Pro screen looks like. Someone asked me what happened and when I initially got my iPhone 13 mini, I accidentally dropped it off a table onto my iPad Pro. And now the screen's cracked. Luckily though, only the glass is broken so it won't be that expensive to get it repaired. Definitely gonna get that done at some point. I might even try to do it myself. No, that might be a bad idea actually considering my recent luck with everything. So yeah, fingers crossed my MacBook isn't broken. I'm gonna keep making this video while I'm waiting and hopefully at the end of it, my computer will be fixed. If not, I'm gonna have to buy a new computer. Yay! So essentially the first thing I did obviously is I looked up what I should do in this situation. Well, first of all, I turned it off and unplugged everything. But then I found out you're essentially just supposed to put it in like, I think it was called a tent pose and wait 48 hours. So I've got 48 hours to kill before I can access all of my files. That was a really good job. Job well done. So I got some waiting before I can even access all my files. And contrary to what I said in my last video, my gaming PC is no longer just a gaming PC. Kinda had to configure it to try to work with Premiere. I think I got it working, fingers crossed. I know this is kind of like an unpopular opinion for a tech YouTuber, but I really don't like buying new computers. I have so many files and plugins and stuff that I just need to transfer from one machine to another. It takes so long, it takes ages for me to get the new machine configured. Not exactly the most fun experience. So I like to keep my machines as long as possible. If this does break though, I'll probably end up with like a Mac Mini or a Mac Studio, one or the other. But something I do really like upgrading is my cameras. And I'm sure some of you already do know, but I got a new camera. It's this, by the way, what I'm filming on right now. For those of you who have been around for a really long time on this channel, you may remember that I used to really not like Sony cameras. This was based entirely off a really bad experience I had with one. Specifically, a bad experience I had with a repair job on one. But honestly, so far, I've been loving this camera. Don't get me wrong, it's not the most like crazy upgrade, but oh, it suits me so well. Dynamic range is crazy, the sharpness is out of this world, and the colors with the Phantom RE LUTs are absolutely mind-blowing. I actually like the colors more than my Canon. I know. All right, so we got a couple of days to kill. All right, I don't want to be completely slowed down by this issue with my laptop. I still want to be making videos, so as you can see, I'm in my studio, but I need to find an audio solution. See, usually I'll stick my mic here and then I'll plug that into my interface and plug that into my laptop. You see the floor here. What I'm planning to do is stick this microphone on here, because that still should give me good audio quality. All right, I'll see you back here tomorrow when it's time to film these videos, because right now it is uh, almost 10 o'clock and I'm trying to get out of the habit of filming late at night. So, see you guys tomorrow. Video time! <laughs> Video's done! As you can see, we have the camera here that was pointing back there. I'm actually thinking of getting like a galaxy projector for this wall. I think it could spice things up a little bit. That could be cool. <laughs> Oh, still using this, by the way. You don't need a super expensive microphone. I've used this on my channel more than any other microphone. Oh, and fun fact, I use a little extender cable to boom it out. And now, let's go back to the main camera. I ordered a temp... I ordered a tempered glass screen protector to put on my iPad while I'm waiting to get it fixed. 
I ordered a tempered glass screen replacement, so let's stick this on. I'm not sure about doing this with the uh, crack in the display. I forgot how long this takes. All right, that'll do. Awesome. So now I can actually use my iPad without uh, breaking it more. All right, so it's now Thursday morning. I've got my laptop. It's been slightly more than 48 hours, and let's see if it works. All right, so all we got to do is just Flip this over. Oh, it's turned on by itself. Seems to be working. There we go. All right, so that was incredibly lucky. In retrospect, I really didn't spill that much water on my laptop. It was less than a couple of millimeters, but if you've ever spilled something on something that isn't waterproof, you'll know it looks like a lot at the time. I am gonna crank this thing open just to make sure that nothing is broken, or there's no like water on the parts, but it seems to be working just fine. Okay, I was incredibly lucky with that. Oh, imagine if I just spilled like a little bit more on it. This experience, however, has shown me it is always good to play it safe when it comes to your electronics. First off, try not to spill something on it, and second of all, if you do, follow the proper steps. Do not be tempted to turn it back on. Yeah, honestly, I am pretty glad that this thing's still working. Let's celebrate by going for a blood test. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know, by the way, have you ever spilled some water on something? If so, what did you do? Did it still work? Feel free to let me know in the comments. I always enjoy reading those. As for now, though, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now, and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>